If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hey everybody, T1 Glistenralf here. I am letting them know that they can go. This is Legacy Top 8 for the Untap Open League. I do not have their decks because I just had to hurry. I was pinged, hey, we're starting it up. So unfortunately, I don't have the decks live, but if you look down in the description, you'll see, their, you'll see the decks. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, we can pretty well see <laughs> what, we're, what we're working with, at least on one side, though. That is a depth stack. And uh, as far as I can see so far, now granted, Mox Diamond makes any color, but as far as I can see, that is a, uh, that is a Golgari list. Which makes sense, it's running Hex Mage, of course, and it's going to be running Crop Rotation for the ability to get Stage and Depth, so at the very least we can assume it would be those. I'm not aware of White for Swords or Red for Punishing Fire or anything like that, though. Uh, we're seeing Liliana's Triumph being taken by the Thought Seas, and this looks like... Uh, well, I don't know yet. I'd, at the very least, it looks like Demir Control of some sort, uh, but or Grixis Control. I mean... It's Legacy, so the fact that it's a Scalding Tarn isn't necessarily a dead giveaway. That could be a Strand, or a Delta, or a Rainforest. Um, but it could be Grixis Control, and I... I you could look down and see. I apologize, I can't... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, resolves, okay. And uh, unfortunately, because I was hurrying to do all this, I didn't have enough time to get enough coffee. So, not that this matters too much, it's decaf. Because I'm having way too much... Oh my goodness! Him to Torok. Oh yeah. I'm I'm excited. I love seeing this. Also, just randomly, shoutouts for running Snow Covered Swamp. You don't have to. It's I guess most of the time technically correct. <laughs> yeah, so we're taking we're hitting the crop rotation and a mox diamond. So the, the rotation being hit there, ooh, that that does kinda hurt. Um we're going to have a what is it, a two one? A two one first striker. Uh, that's not bad, but then again, there's also a fatal push. And because of Thoughtseize, that is known information, so not playing it makes a lot of sense. Not playing it until you're ready to immediately, without passing priority, pop it. So there's an Urborg. Uh, so yeah, we, we play the stage here instead, that makes sense. And because we have two mana up for stage, we could copy this. We could copy an Underground Sea just because, I guess. Make it tap for colored mana. Alright, so on the other side, what is this what is this board layout? I'm I'm sorry, Cap. Uh <laughs> why? <laughs> Lands in front and back. Okay. No, it's all good. <laughs> hey, it's like he heard me! It's like he <laughs> Okay, this is not being streamed, and even if it were, I think there'd be enough of a delay that, that it would be that instant. <laughs> that instant. I'm having a good old time. Good old time. It's much easier to talk when I'm not one of the competitors. That makes things worlds easier. Okay, so we see Urborg coming in. Uh, there's a Depths, so uh, yeah, good times. Guess what we're about to do? <laughs> Any guesses, folks? Any guesses? Mom, get the camera. <laughs> Ooh, baby, a Hex Mage. Mm. Shoutouts to Melee Fox. That's a uh, zero fox given. We have a little group in uh, in Athens, the the Athens Smash Crew, and uh, it's passed back to Captain Gouda. Huh? Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! That's right, because uh, uh, because the. Liliana's Triumph is known about, so that would actually deal with the, the Dark Depths. Okay, fair enough. We also have Stage, so, you know, you know, as you do. You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to do that. I like the idea of playing the Hex Mage anyway. It's a discard deck, it saves the stage for later, um, but I, there's another one in hand now, so okay. That works, that works. Hey. Yeah. Oh, that's just me. So now what do we do? Teamer's turn? Oh, this is, was this supposed to be... Hmm. 
So with the diamond known about... Oh, okay, okay, I, I, I see a, a line. I don't know that's necessarily correct, but stage can copy... No, no, no. Hmm, no, that's fine. I wish I had access to the deck list. That would help a lot. That would help a lot here. Okay, Strix, just nice little value. We have our 18 turn clock. Draws a cad, you draws a cad. Four mana, oh, okay. Well, again, the Jace is known about, so at some point you have to pull the trigger. Uh, that said, I mean, you're not gonna get antsy and Captain's not gonna get antsy and play the Jace, because that means not holding up the, uh, the Triumph, so. Uh, no, no, actually you could. Uh, Merit Lage doesn't have Trample, so you have a blocker. Never mind, you actually could do that. Merit Lage is 2020 Flying, Indestructible, Black, Legendary. Did I miss anything? It reads like a Billy Mays commercial. But wait, there's more! Alright, so like, we see Jace. Okay, now it's fair enough. Now it's fair enough. Now the crop rotation's not known about, but that's about to make things a little... Oh, okay, so Fate Seal or Scry? Okay, yeah, so it's a uh, Fate Seal. End of turn? Gee, I wonder what's about to happen here. Uh-huh. So we, we can actually tap the Dark Depths here because of Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. So we're tapping Dark Depths for black mana. Uh, we know the drill. Thespian Stage... Drill. The drill. <laughs> Thespian Stage comes in as a copy... Or, not comes in as... Becomes a copy of Dark Depths. Legend Rule. Dark Depths with counters goes away. Dark Depths that remains. Has zero snow counters on it. And lo and behold, Merit Lage Rar. Okay. But again, though, there is a Death Touch creature, so, I mean, that, that doesn't matter, it's indestructible. There's a Flying creature, so, not dead yet, not dead yet. <laughs> Tis but a flesh wound. Uh, and of course, you know, it's gonna block, it's gonna chump. Jace is going to unsummon, and or Liliana shenanigans. If Jace doesn't unsummon, you have to rely on the Lily, but that's... So there is a, a correct line here. Alright. If I can, I would like to block should you attack. Yep. Float black. Crop or... Wait, 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 wait. What are we doing now? Okay, so Triumph is offline. Triumph is... Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 This is a... <laughs> I played this in Popper, so I had a moment when I'm like, no, he's not, he's absolutely not gonna do it. He did it. The fiend, the maniac, he did it. <laughs> okay, okay. I played that in Popper. Lol. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's crop rotation effect for me. Uh, sorry, filling time while we, uh, oh wow, that was fast. Jeez. Oh yeah, 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 because top eight is played uh, best of five, so no sideboarding yet. Sorry, no sideboarding yet. In the meantime, uh, while they're getting started, I'm going to see if I can quickly breeze on over and try to find deck list. so I, ap I apologize for that. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, we see the hands. That's, uh, that's interesting. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's that's very interesting. What is this expedition? It's a Misty Rainforest, okay. Alright. And this one is a Verdant Catacombs. Cool. Turn one thought sees. So while that's resolving, I'm looking through to see if I can find it. Do 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 Where? Okay, 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 here we go. Alright, cool. Sorry, I'm getting back to it. So, thought sees, brainstorm, uh, gonna make sure we hide what we'd like to keep. Fair enough. And in the meantime, I'm still looking. I'm still looking, folks. I'm a hurrying. I'm a getting. I'm a getting. I'm from the south. Let's see. Alright, so Thoughtseize is still resolving. Let's see, should be this one. 
Season 9 deck list. Okay, cool. That, that should be it. Please tell me they have links in here. Okay, cool. Hurry. I'm working on it. I'm sorry I'm not <laughs> saying much. Alright, so we see two for a him, and yes, that is a Bloodstain Mire. And no, it does not need to be cracked because there's an Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. So that that was played correctly. You, you didn't your eyes do not deceive you. Alright, I see one link. And I'll put that in here. Do 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 do. And that's for Teamer's list. We'll get back to it in just a sec. In the meantime, we see draw for Bayou. Ooh. Uh, well, when you know that there's double fatal push in hand, again... Uh, uh. So... Oh, by the way, this is a Sylvan Safekeeper in the main board. Yes, that is Sylvan Safekeeper. That is the first... I think it was the first Invitational card won. I don't know that it was the first card printed, though. Um, so, oh, and there's Jace. So we have Culligan's Command on the ready, and we, we know. We know where that's going. Um, let's see. But there's no, there's no need to do it right now. Uh, yeah, and indeed it was not fired off. So we can do two mana, blue and black, Baleful Strix. And while Baleful Strix is resolving, I'm working on getting this one too. Alright, do 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 do. Alright, cool. So we have both deck lists, and we'll review them in just a bit when they do sideboarding, so apologize for that. Hey, I'm back. Alright. Alright. So it's uh, Slow Depths versus Grixis Control, as I can see at the top. Ta da! Slow Depths. That's neat. As much as I'd like to give it a look right now, I will resist the urge, or at least I will try. Uh, Bayou? That's what we're getting off the fetch. Life from the Loam. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, boy. That's, that's a lot of fun. So we're fetching, fetching now, and that puts one, two, three lands in the graveyard, so it makes a lot of sense to do it here. That way you get maximum value out of your life from the loam. Why not? Alright, so life from the loam? Using the stage instead of the Urborg. That's interesting to me. Know that it necessarily matters. Alright. So getting back Misty, Verdant, and Stage. And no, they're not. Re okay, they're revealed now, but they were in the little chat too, so they knew what it was regardless. Okay. Alright, passing on back. Oh, hi, Gurmog Angler. Swinging one. Put you on that f now 15 turn clock, except. I think we know a little bit better now. So with four cards, it's effectively six. It, it's exactly six. <laughs> Never mind. We're getting, we're filling up the yard. Even if we're not delving away all of them, we can at least delve away the useless ones. And the lands aren't too useful here. Without looking at the list yet, I don't know if they're Snapcaster, but I would not be surprised. So saving something like a, a Brainstorm for Snapcaster well, him, I think, is, is worn out as welcome with Life from the Loam doing its thing. Uh, that said, we're just getting the one mana Gurmog Angler, holding up that double fatal push, as you do. <coughs> Dredging three, okay. Hmm. Alright. I, I can talk about the deck list a little bit because of my setup here without having to actually open up those tabs, uh, which would kick you where you couldn't see the, the game. So let me talk just a little bit while I'm at it. All right, so 
Uh, Teamer's list is double Sylvan Safekeeper, which is two more than I had been expecting, but it works, I guess. It's also running Sylvan Scry. Now, bear in mind, this is a deck that made it to the top eight. So, uh, yeah, the Sylvan Scry, but it's it's not a bad card, apparently. Here's a right on time Force of Will. Not that that's a great card in the matchup, but this is still a main boardable game, so what can you do? Uh, that said, Force of Will in this spot is probably perfectly fine because I, I, it's hard for me to see aside from like a top decked. Like, even if Dark Depths gets dredged here from Life from the Loam, you can force it to keep them off the win, or to keep them off of getting Dark Depths. Okay, what's going on here? Thespian Stage is becoming. Oh, it's it's a Bayou too. Okay, cool. Uh, sure. Uh, it's. What else are you gonna do with it? Put a note on it. Hello, and the note says Bayou. All right, Life from the Loam doing its thing. We're seeing him. Oh, okay. So Vampire Hex. There's Dark Depths. Too late, buddy. Too late. Actually, it's not. So this is six damage coming back. And uh, Life from the Loam, you force it, pitching Jace, so that they don't get the Dark Depths this turn. On the next turn, though, they're going to be able to. So uh, it's still not great. It's still not a great spot. All right, so force pitch Jace, as you do. Just, you just have to do it. Um, it also does put... Merit Lage in a difficult spot, because even when Merit Lage has gotten back on this next turn, Merit Lage still can't attack. Uh, if Merit Lage does... No, no, no! Yeah, yeah, Merit Lage can't attack because it gets blocked by the Flyer, and then the 5-5 five -five swings in for the win. So... Uh, but th that just puts them in a... Oh, nice. In a nice little stall. Alright. Um, yeah, two in discard. Shock and discard. It's about to be six coming back. Oh, wait a minute. If this is six coming back, then even Merit Lage wouldn't save because it's two attackers. You'd have to find something else to do. Uh, and then that will be... They'll be going 1-1 one, one into sideboard games. So that looks like what's about to happen, folks. Um, if you had your money on... If you had your money on either one... Uh, I mean... Your hopes aren't dashed yet. Okay, this really didn't need to be decaf. I needed caffeine. I need it now. I need it so badly. I'm gonna resist the urge to go and get... No, I'm not. I'm gonna get coffee in the break. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do. No, we're gonna talk about the decks first, and then if we have time, maybe. Alright, so cool. Uh, Life from the Loam is resolving here, as we discussed. We're gonna get Dark Depths, put it into play, we're going to make Merit Lage, uh, doesn't matter when, there are two attackers, GG, and uh, that leaves you dead on board, I believe. Yep, so, as you do. And when the contents of the hand are known anyway, okay, so, wait, 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 while well, I have a moment, alright, cool, so here are your decks, shoutouts to ads. <laughs> alright, and I'll try to, I'll highlight over these so you can uh, see what the card is. My internet is terrible. It is terrifically bad. There's a reason I don't stream, folks. That card still hasn't shown up. Um, okay, so never mind, we're just going to talk about them. So, Vampire Hexmage is a 2-1 first strike, but the part we care about is that it can be sacked to get rid of all the permanent, all the counters off of permanent. Well, lo and behold, okay, this can't be internet. This is, uh... Okay, I have no idea what's going on then. Uh, it can get rid of all of the counters on Dark Depths and make Merit Lage that way. The other way, of course, is that you take... Let's please hope it comes up, because this is a tricky card to explain. It doesn't. Okay, you have S S Thespian Stage, and Thespian Stage has this handy little ability where it can become a copy of something. So since it's already on the field, it's not like a Vesuva where it enters as a copy, and therefore it would get the counters of Dark Depths. This one's already on the field, and then becomes a copy. It doesn't gain any counters, it just doesn't have any. So, Legend Rule Dark Depths away, it's Dark Depths, it gets sacked because it has no counters, Merit Lage enters, and we have Indestructible 2020 Flyers, yada 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 yada. Basically, at that point, it often reads, do you have Swords to Plowshares, or apparently Liliana's Triumph, a apparently that's a thing now, or Bust. Uh, Maze of Its shenanigans, there are other answers, but uh, 
That's, that's it, and everything else in the deck is around that. So there's only one life in the loam, which is surprising to me. I was expecting four, as you do, but no, that's not the way that this deck is going. Instead, we have two Sylvan Scrying to tutor up a land, two Hymns to play Discard, three Abrupt Decay, deal with Problem Permanence, four Thoughtseize to live, two Duress to live, four Crop Rotation, fair enough. Uh, and also, Life from the Loam, I guess, is the kind of card where the more copies you have, like, you only you only one matters most of the time. Um, Mox Diamond for ramp, Sylvan Library for card selection and card draw in certain matchups. Uh, you have your package, your uh, tutor package, your crop rotation package like Pajuka Bog, uh, Sajiri Step, shout outs, that I was very much not expecting that, but I'm glad to see it. Uh, Wasteland, and then sideboard, like you, you have a creature, Karak is to deal with like sne show and tell, sneak and show sne shenanigans, the mirror, etc. Pithing Needle, uh, Surgical Extraction for graveyard deck, Sylvan Safekeeper, for uh, another way to help protect your uh, your Merit Lage, Abrupt Decay, Assassin's Trophy, another way to deal with Problem Permanence, Hymns, Marsh Casualties for uh, Mass Removal, and Liliana Last Hope as a two of. Uh, by the way, how many are there in the main board? None, but uh, that's it's a, it's a depth stack. Alright, cool. Grixis Control, let me make sure we haven't started. Oh god, we've already started. That was fast. Jeez, you guys sideboard more quickly than I do. Okay, I'm sorry about that. In that case, it looks like we have, uh... Huh. Huh. Alright, so, since Captain Gouda won the last one, Teemer went first. Teemer played a Dryad Arbor, and, uh, passing back, we have Volcanic into Ponder. And, uh... And yeah, that's what you do, I guess. Cool. No, no response. All right. Well, we'll get we'll get to Grixis control in just a sec, which is to say now, because that's a that's a him to Torok. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So Baleful Strix, three Snapcaster Mage, two Gurmog Angler, a Liliana the Last Hope, three Jace the Mind Sculptor, a bunch of. Why is my internet now deciding it wants to work? I don't know what gives. Uh, two Liliana's Triumph, play with the one Liliana. It's decent anyway. Uh, Force of Will. Not that many, oh, 21 lands, but this is, I mean, you have Brainstorm, you have Ponder, that's fine. A uh, sideboard is Flusterstorm, Grafdigger's Cage, Nile Spellbomb, Pyroblast, Surgical Extraction, Marsh Casualties, Blood Moon, Chi, I wonder what's coming in. And we, we did see it too. Presumably Ensnaring Bridge, Liliana, Liliana, Toxic Deluge. Uh, Veil can work, but remember, uh, both ways of getting, uh, both ways of getting Merit Lage into play can be done at instant speed. So Liliana's Edict is actually not that big a deal, unless you have a Baleful Strix or something. Uh, Okay, so shenanigans here. We have <laughs> a Thoughtseize. Uh, well, when you have two cards like that to take, you have the Blood Moon and you have Ensnaring Bridge. I do not envy that. Him to Torok did not do much legwork, unfortunately. It, it didn't hit what it needed to. Uh, it hit. Well, okay, so yeah, Brainstorm Thoughtseize. Cool. Um, like, this looks really bad. That's a swamp. Okay, whatever. Blood Moon, you just, you can't win. You abrupt Decay, or Bust. Uh, Triumph, you can beat. And in Staring Bridge, you can beat, at least. Uh, ooh, okay. So, I would think that in this kind of, I mean, we see Abrupt Decay there, and there were three Decays, one in the side, and an Assassin's Trophy. I would not be surprised if all of those came in. Because you, you have, they have access to each other's decks, of course, so they know what to expect, and the, the biggest cards coming in from Grixis Control are Blood Moon and Ensnaring Bridge. And Ensnaring Bridge, even when you have a full hand, Merit Lage can't attack, and you're not getting there with a 2-1 first striker, as cool as that might be. Alright, so this is an Island. Island. That's an island. Jeez. Huh. I'm sorry, I'm... What is that from? If you recognize that art, please let me know. That's Ensnaring Bridge Pass. Ooh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, not firing off the Wasteland uh, to use on the Volk, maybe. Um. So, we're past this point, but theoretically, it could... I have done this before with Infect. This is not the kind of deck that can do it, though. Uh, you have... You s use cards like Wasteland to strand enough cards in their hand that you can attack. Uh, that is not what's going to be happening here. <laughs> um, not at all. Not at all. 
Uh, so we see we could also play the fair way of doing Dark Depths, which is just remove counters, but hey, we have a Vampire Hex Mage, so, you know, as you do. Uh, brainstorm, seeing surgical uh, double lands, that's not, that's not the best it could be, especially since none of those lands are fetch lands, so whatever you put back, you are stuck with. Uh, uh, I don't think we revealed that the, the proper way. Um, uh, because I think we're supposed to hide the, the lily on his triumph so that we, our opponent doesn't know if we put it back. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, there we go. Good old end of turn abrupt decay. And we're about to see it. I mean, wait a minute, so the, the lily on his triumph is already... We could just be doing this just a... So, Aha, uh -huh, okay. We're gonna do it now. Do it now, folks. Do it now! Wait, 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 wait. No, no, what do you do? Oh. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I, I, I missed how the, the lands were tapped. Okay, okay. What? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Okay, so I, I was paying attention to something else entirely, and I apologize for missing this. The wasteland, let's see. Two lands were used for abrupt decay. Okay, so if there were four lands up, were two for the Hex Mage and then two were for Abrupt Decay and therefore they couldn't waste? He just attacks for 20. You had a Sack Effect in hand! Dryad Arbor- Oh, Dryad Arbor! Oh, Dryad Arbor! Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense, that makes sense. I get it now. Aha! I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Okay. Yeah, we were all thinking the same thing apparently, but... There's a reason that they're here and I'm not. Actually, didn't enter this league, so. But, in all likelihood, no. I like to think of myself as a decent player. I, uh. uh statistically, I wouldn't be likely to make top 8. 32 in ish, 32 ish in, 8 out. Alright, uh, ha huh, ha. That, that hand. I mean, when you have a Brainstorm, you can certainly get away with stuff like that. Brainstorm fetch lands. Okay. Okay. Fair. Uh, we're doing it now. Doesn't matter. We have a Brainstorm. We're just deck thinning at this point. And when your life total goes from 20 to 0, the deck thinning, the, the life loss from the deck thinning actually does not... Hey, buddy. Get off of me. Come on. Get you outside. Oh, hey, you too. What are you doing, dude? Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm walking here. I'm filming here. There we go. Had some visitors. That's all. Sorry about that. Alright. Well. <sighs> Get that Alex from Street Fighter. Except I can't do my arm back because there's a wall here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, brainstorm fetch. I hear that's okay. I haven't put the, <laughs> the brainstorm back yet. Please, re please reveal. Okay, okay. Hmm. They have access to each other's decks, so they know what Liliana could potentially get back. Liliana, more importantly, deals with Baleful Strix as a, as a creature, it deals with it, but that's, I mean, still one. It's a zero for one, actually. Um, but it can deal with Snapcaster Mage if it doesn't kill the Liliana. I'm trying to think of what creatures it gets back other than Sylvan Safekeeper and Vampire Hex Mage. Uh, which, I guess, while this is resolving, I'll, I'll take a look and see. Oh, Dark Confidant! I haven't, I haven't seen you yet. That's right. Dark Confidant. Just, Bob did not decide to show up here. Bob Marr, ladies and gentlemen. The Great One. Isn't that his nickname? One of his nicknames? The Great One? Something like that, right? It's appropriate. Greatness at any cost. Or, in the case of this deck, greatness at essentially no cost. Look at this... 
Well, okay, I, I'm not gonna go back to it right now. Oh, no, never mind. That's just a Grimog resolving. Yeah, look at this mana base. <laughs> 27 lands and a bunch of cheap stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, but enough of that. Alright, so, thought say shenanigans, as you do. Hmm. I mean, okay, so, thought says, geez, I wonder what you're gonna take. It's gonna be Snapcaster or Snapcaster? Uh huh. Now, look at this hand, by the way. Liliana, Liliana, Abrupt Decay. Do you know how much Liliana does to Gurmog Angler? Reduces its power by two. Uh, it starts, Liliana starts at three, goes up to four, gets hit for three, makes it another turn, but then can't minus on that turn. So, Liliana's not, not great. Oh, you can't Abrupt Decay to get rid of Gurmog Angler. It's one of the joys of playing the Delve creatures. When you see Hooting Mandrills played in Legacy, like in Rug Delver, for instance, Teamer Delver, there's a reason for that. <laughs> It'll push an Abrupt Decay. There are reasons for that. I'm not saying that's great, though, but that was the thing. Alright. Alright. Old fogey times with T1 Glistener Elf. Uh, I remember back when... Oh, we're swinging. Gee, I wonder what's going to happen. Okay, okay. So it could theoretically be a bait. You do let this attack through, but if it, if it were not let through, uh, if Merit Lage was made here to block, then it could block the Gurmog Angler, and then if a Jace came down, it could unsummon Merit Lage. So it's it's good bait. It's really good bait. <laughs> uh, end of turn, making Merit Lage, doing, a, doing our thing, having fun. Fun, folks. This is fun. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, I give you some coffee. All right, cool. Yeah, that's a that's a thing. That's a merit lage. That's a lagey girl. And there's Liliana the Veil again. Not that the edicting matters, uh, but lo and behold, I guess that's something. The discard card against a combo deck. Fair enough. Um, yeah. And a deck with only one life from the loan, so that's better than it would be against traditional lands, let's say. I had to attack to make you think I did. And I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, correct. That is correct. That is how you do it. You play to your outs. Even if you don't think you have something, you play to your outs. Because getting you paranoid of something was my only chance to win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, about that. Didn't work. I mean... That's that's fair, I guess. Yeah, it might have been right for me to take five and make a 2020 end of turn. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Playing around Jace. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That'll be the match? Oh, that'll be the match, like, as in, that's what it's going to be. Not, it's over. Okay, about to say, I don't think we've gotten there yet. Maybe I miscounted. This has been going on for, for a hot minute. Aha. Now I'm thinking. Oh god, gorgeous sunset here. Oh. Hmm. GG's. GG. Thanks. Alright, so I miscounted. That's it. I miscounted. That's all it was. Alright. Uh, yeah. Here we go. So that's it. Take care, everybody. I will see you later. Bye bye.